Hello everyone and welcome back to my F1 2021 My Team Career Mode episode number 22 for the Austrian Grand Prix in season 2. Now, uh, this is the video I've been uh, having so many issues with uh, at basically every phase. So, uh, yeah, the major issue uh, was somehow the uh, game audio, uh, you know, the actual, you know, uh, menu sounds and car sounds, engineer, everything s somehow ended up six seconds out of sync uh, with the video, uh, roughly. And, and it wasn't consistently out of sync either. There were times where it was, you know, five seconds, seven seconds, you know, more or less time uh, out of sync uh, over the course, you know, of, the, of one recording. So uh, don't ask me how that happened. Uh, I've tried my best to fix it. It's still not quite perfect. There's the R&D chart, uh, by the way. And uh, we also have uh, replaced... Uh, all of our engine components bar the energy store, that one's still fine, uh, but all the rest uh, we can uh, replace for this one, either because we've done enough races on those components, or, or in the case of uh, the control electronics, uh, we actually need to because that one's becoming a little bit too worn uh, for my liking. So that's probably the only component we'll need to take a penalty for, but uh, anyway, you can see a Q1 in the background, uh, no huge surprises there, we've managed to get through. Uh, with no major issues, so we should just be able to push on and uh, hopefully have a decent running qualifying here. This is one of our favourite tracks on the calendar, so I imagine uh, we should be able to have a solid run here. But uh, yeah, the, that uh, issue with the uh, sound uh, being out of sync uh, turned out to be uh, not the only one uh, with this video. There's also sections where I uh, had to mute the audio because of the car sounded more like an army helicopter and uh, various other things that went wrong uh, throughout this but anyway I'm not going to get uh, through all of that let's just get on with the video itself but if you notice any weirdness going on uh, I've had many many issues so uh, yeah this one may be uh, a little uh, unpolished let's call it that but uh, anyway you can see our Q2 lap uh, going on at the moment and uh, we are currently uh, obviously down in 15th position uh, without a uh, representative time set so uh, let's head around the final corner to see uh, where this lap puts us hopefully uh, we will make our way uh, up into Q3 as uh, we come across the line where uh, will we qualify in Q2 will it be good enough uh, to get into the final session we have a look at the standings as uh, we skip past that and we're knocked out down in 15, uh, 14th position rather Yuki Tsunoda gets through so showing the car has uh, Q3 pace uh, and usually we are you know a decent you know, sort of a small chunk of time ahead uh, I should say of Yuki Tsunoda so that's just we didn't do the job there uh, our car is much better uh, than where we've ended up qualifying in this one we should be you know maybe I, I could and maybe even top five I don't know uh, but for whatever reason I just did not get that lap together and we are knocked out so we're going to be starting a long way down in this one and there's another twist because uh, the early phases of this race will be in the rain so we've got our work cut out for us so let's just get into it and uh, try and make up for this bad qualifying. Good afternoon and welcome to Spielberg and to a circuit that in one form or another has held every Austrian Grand Prix in the championship except the very first back in 1964. It was at this race that John Watson lost a bet and his beard when he took Team Penske's only F1 victory in 1976. If anything, the stakes are even higher today with 25 points available for victory and a crucial advantage in the championship fight. It's a short lap here in Spielberg with just 10 corners, seven rights and three lefts, making up the total distance of 2.6 miles. And expect to see a lot of cars running wide today, especially through the last corner, as the wet conditions make the cars skittish through the downhill sections. It's not going to be plain sailing for our drivers today, Although with the sky falling as it is, perhaps sailing isn't too far from the truth. And Anthony Davidson could be a wet one today. Great to have you with us. What are your thoughts? It is a touch damp, isn't it? Well, as a driver, there are three big things to worry about when racing in these kind of conditions. Standing water, tyre temperature and visibility. And judging distance to the cars around you is really tricky when you're driving through the vast amounts of spray that these wet weather Pirelli tyres kick up. 
Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Sainz, Charles Leclerc and Norris, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Ocon and Yuki Tsunoda, Gasly, Mazepin, Sebastian Vettel, The Scientist, Stroll, Russell, Valtteri Bottas, and Nobuharu Matsushita, Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Latifi, and Mick Schumacher. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. I think that is a reasonable target for this race. Uh, everyone around us is starting on the medium compound tyres, so uh, despite the fact we're starting in the wet conditions, we're, and I think the soft tyres could be better, uh, we're going to go with the mediums just because uh, I don't want to go different uh, to everyone around us. Uh, so that will allow us to run further into the race uh, and we'll have some nice grippy tyres for the end. But uh, anyway, we go to the five red lights and you can already hear some of the little audio issues are coming into effect. Uh, I'm going to mute the audio in a moment. But it's lights out and away we go for the Austrian Grand Prix. It's a decent start for us uh, despite our tyres uh, being a little bit colder than what uh, would be optimal for the start. We go for a move to the outside. We'll see if we can make our way around. We find ourselves off circuit though and uh, we have to drop back into line and we're losing places as we rejoin the circuit. And uh, now there's a moment for a car behind. That's Nobuharu Matsushita. He's got a wheel off as he makes contact with several other cars as he re-enters the circuit off to the right now but Matsushita's had a big crash there and there's several other cars involved just losing the rear end going up the hill it looks like the Alfa Romeo is involved and the Hazemick Schumacher having a big moment there as well uh, that is Valtteri Bottas very lucky uh, to get through there but uh, we'll have a look on board with uh, a few of the others Giovinazzi so unlucky he has a heavy impact and look at Mick Schumacher that was a huge crash uh, for the German. Here's Kimi Raikkonen. Uh, for him, nowhere to go. He's got a wheel off as well. That's uh, three, four cars out of the race, uh, including Mick Schumacher. He actually had a moment on his own just avoiding the incident. So very slippery conditions out here. And that was a heavy, heavy crash for Mick Schumacher. So that was a big, big incident on the opening lap of this race. And uh, that is four cars out of the race. Both Alfa Romeos, the has of Mick Schumacher and the Alfa Fatari of Nobuharu Matsushita all out uh, in one incident. So that is uh, a disaster start for them uh, in this race. And uh, they uh, will all be uh, taking an early shower uh, today. But uh, finally, we can return to having some audio in the video as uh, the... Uh, weird sound issues have uh, resolved themselves mysteriously uh, at this point. Uh, once again, I'll repeat, they are in the recording. The game uh, itself, as I was playing, uh, was completely fine. It's just in the recording, something went uh, wrong. But uh, anyway, we're now down in 18th position. You'll notice we've switched onto uh, the soft compound tires. We actually had front wing damage uh, after they were opening lap. So uh, we, we took that opportunity to uh, make a pit stop and uh, yeah, we are now making our way through the field on soft tyres. That should be uh, much better suited to these conditions because they uh, retain heat much better. Uh, so while the cornering you know, and apex speeds are down, it's harder to generate that tyre temperature. So using soft tyres uh, at this phase of the race is uh, working very, very well for us. And we are slicing our way through the field uh, at a rapid rate as uh, we've already moved ourselves up and into 16th position. Uh, the strategy from this point uh, is actually a one-stop uh, to get to the end. Despite the fact we only did a uh, 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 one-lap first stint, uh, we can actually get to the end on one more stop. So uh, we might actually do that, uh, despite the fact it's sort of a weird strategy, and it, it's probably not the most efficient way to get to the end uh, from the start, but I think we're going to go aggressive and go for it, and go, that will give us uh, some good track position as uh, the cars ahead of us uh, begin to battle away. That is Sebastian Vettel and George Russell uh, fighting away. Can we make the most of that as we have a little look? No, we can't quite get up the inside of Sebastian Vettel and uh, we sit behind the German for a bit longer. But uh, with four cars out of the race, uh, that is uh, already uh, made the field much, much smaller. Uh, and with any other issues later on, 
uh, it could be uh, a chance for some uh, surprise points uh, for a few people. Let's see how that goes uh, by the end of the race. Meanwhile, Vessel now going for the move around the outside of George Russell into turn three, and he gets the job done. We go for a wide line cut in and get a nice exit, and uh, we'll get the move done on George Russell uh, along the uh, next straight, nice and easy, and uh, we've moved ourselves up and into 15th position. Next up is Sebastian Vettel. Uh, having a little look around the outside there, but we're not going to stick those in uh, where it's going to get chopped off. We get Vettel uh, along the straight towards turn three anyway, so uh, that was a fairly uh, easy one. The Aston Martins uh, not been too great so far uh, this season. No issues with tyre wear for now. Keep taking care of them. But uh, anyway, uh, next up. Uh, we have Pierre Gasly and we're going to go for a big dive up the inside into turn three. That was an aggressive move, but we made a stick and uh, we've moved ourselves ahead of Pierre Gasly. And uh, we actually set a purple uh, first sector there. So uh, we have got decent pace uh, in certain parts of the circuit. Uh, with these soft tyres, uh, we should actually be the fastest car on track because they'll be the newer soft tyres. They're brand new. Everyone who started out of the top ten uh, started on mediums uh, and... Everyone in the top 10 will be on used softs, so uh, we should have the best uh, soft tyres uh, by at least four laps. Uh, so that will be a significant advantage uh, in our favour, and you can see we're making it work for us as uh, we are finding our way now up into 11th position as uh, the track now is uh, you know, dry uh, and not uh, you know, sort of being as uh, troublesome. Uh, these soft tyres are uh, going to start fading. Uh, relative to the mediums but uh, the matter of fact is uh, we've already made up a lot of our lost time in fact we're probably ahead of where we were to begin with so uh, we're actually uh, doing quite well on this strategy because it was, there was a safety car we could make that uh, pit stop and switch onto these tyres uh, without losing uh, too much in the way of time but uh, anyways we continue to push on uh, we get past uh, Nikita Mazepin uh, in the uh, second we're Mercedes in P6. and that moves us up into sixth. So uh, yeah, we're uh, running quite well in this race and remember we've only got one stop to go whereas everyone else has you know, two, maybe even three stops to go. So uh, I'm not going to say anything but we could be in a very good position here uh, and these soft tyres seem to be lasting very well as we're now in the lead. Daniel Ricciardo takes that from us and we can't really fight it back uh, because at this point our soft tyres are going off but we've already done, if you look in the top left, 28 laps on these tyres so they have lasted brilliantly uh, after we only put them on at the end of lap 1 uh, so there was uh, very very good tyre wear numbers for us uh, throughout this race and uh, that's really helped us in this first stint so if the soft tyres can do you know, 20 uh, 29 laps uh, it was in the end of the, um, well Look the medium tyres uh, they will be able to take us to the end easily uh, so uh, yeah we just need to run to the end now we're not that far away in relative terms uh, to the leader and we have uh, still probably the best tyres on circuit because we've got brand new mediums uh, I don't think too many people will be running softs uh, at this point uh, in the race so once again, we are going to be very, very pacey at uh, this phase of the race as George Russell retires with a mechanical failure and uh, he pulls off to the side uh, with a lot of smoke coming out the back of that Williams. Unfortunate for George Russell and that brings down the field size to just 17 cars uh, left in this race. So we continue to push on and uh, we're just trying to run the fastest race we can at the moment. Uh, we're in fifth position right now. We've got... Uh, Fernando Alonso up the road and uh, we're going to make a move around the outside into turn four. Give me some space around here please, thank you. And we get the move done and move ourselves up into fourth position uh, with that one actually, I'm sorry, up into third position uh, with more cars making pit stops throughout the course of this race. Uh, we keep moving forwards. Uh, next up we have a battle uh, ahead of us between Verstappen and Sainz. That's allowed us to close up. These two cars should be faster than us, although we do have better uh, tyres on the car at the moment uh, but Verstappen and Sainz uh, both holding each other up we go now round the outside of both of them into turn four 
round the outside of Carlos Sainz, we can't quite get there, and they both hold on, and uh, we just slot in behind, but uh, those two fighting has really helped us gain a lot of time on them, as Lando Norris retires from the race, uh, didn't quite get a replay of that one, but he is out uh, with a mechanical failure, I believe, but uh, you can see Sainz and Verstappen still fighting away, Sainz ahead at the moment, Verstappen I think has more pace, but he just can't find a way past, and Sainz uh, seems to be able to fight back very well, so they're, they're very even on pace, I would say, uh, at this stage of the race. But uh, we'll see how that plays out over the course of the remaining the laps. And As Max Verstappen now makes his pit stop, and uh, that will drop him out of uh, the running order as things stand. But uh, that will be his... Okay. In this race are Verstappen and Ricardo. Uh, that'll be his final stop of the race, I believe, as uh, we now catch up to Carlos Sainz once again. We're going to try and make the move around the outside, too deep under brakes, though, and Sainz is going to hold on, and uh, we can't uh, continue that fight with uh, that car in the way. Not that we could, anyway. We dropped too far behind Sainz uh, to continue the fight through Sector 2, but uh, yes, Carlos Sainz uh, doing a good job at the moment doing a good job at the moment, but uh, the, the Ferrari are not responding uh, to Red Bull's undercut strategy with Verstappen, so we'll see if they uh, end up paying the price uh, for that later, but uh, we are actually going to stop as well uh, with Carlos Sainz. I wasn't planning to make this stop, but uh, I decided that it might be a good idea. Our tyres aren't too worn, but we can put on a fresh set of medium tyres. We have them, so we might as well use them with Carlos Sainz uh, pitting, we would have taken the lead at this point anyway, and everyone around us has at least one stop to make, so uh, we're going to come out uh, in corrected order. We'll be third at worst, uh, with Sainz just getting out ahead of us, and Max Verstappen as well uh, on corrected order uh, will be ahead of us too, as he has uh, got the undercut. But uh, we go around the outside of Sainz uh, on pit exit, actually, and uh, make that move stick. Uh, which is very good for us because Sainz is on soft tyres, so if we can hold him off uh, in the early phase of this stint, that will also be very uh, beneficial for us, but he's got a bad run out of pit lane, and uh, that helped us uh, make that move on Carlos Sainz, so that is very uh, useful uh, for us, and uh, that could play a crucial role uh, in our uh, fight for a podium here as we dive down the inside and make a move on Fernando Alonso, He's uh, been a bit of trouble for uh, the front runners in this one. Always finding himself in the fight at the front, uh, but out of sync as uh, we now catch up uh, to Charles Leclerc running out of sync in this race as well. He makes a pit stop and uh, that would be an issue nice uh, for us as uh, we're now up into fourth position no with the fastest the lap of the race now up driving. into second as uh, everyone else makes their final stop and now the field is in. Uh, their corrected positions with Verstappen leading the way from myself and then Carlos Sainz as we run wide out of turn one you can see the car leaping into the air there as we run off circuit thankfully we managed to maintain control and uh, keep things moving in the right direction but uh, that was a bit of a moment for us we were lucky not to get floor damage or anything else uh, from that little moment there but uh, that was a lucky escape no to worry about tight condition for now everything's looking good but uh, we continue on, and Carlos Sainz uh, begins... Actually, that's not Sainz, that's Fernando Alonso going up the inside. So Fernando Alonso is uh, very, very pacey. Uh, again, I, I mentioned he r is running out of sync in this race. I think he has another stop to make. But Fernando Alonso is uh, really fighting us hard. But uh, we force him out onto the wide line. He gets overtaken by Carlos Sainz and Daniel Ricciardo. And uh, hopefully... He won't be uh, bothering us anymore uh, throughout the rest of this race, but uh, that's got us uh, a little bit uh, distracted there. And now Carlos Sainz has got a good run out of the final corner. He goes to the outside of turn one, and he gets the move done. We have dived down the inside. We need to hold this position because Sainz is going to be super fast on those soft compound tyres, so we need to stay ahead. We run wide, though, and that's given Sainz another opportunity as he now goes to the inside uh, towards turn three. We're trying to go late on the brakes. We give him some space, but we straighten up the exit, get a decent one, but we're off circuit, running a little bit wide, and in the end, uh, we're not able uh, to hold off signs, and Ricardo gets through as well. We're down the inside of Ricardo once again, side by side, through turn four, and we'll just about manage to hold off Ricardo as uh, he's still on the inside. 
Can we make it through around the outside? Yes, we just about will. And Hamilton gets through as well. So Lewis Hamilton buying into this. Uh, so it's a four-way fight for the lead now. And maybe five if we can catch Verstappen. But with all the fighting between the four of us, it's going to be difficult. But Science has an issue. Jeff just coming over the radio with the news. Carlos Sainz is slow. And you can see the difference immediately. Carlos Sainz struggling in a straight line there. And we're straight past the Spanish driver in the Ferrari. He has major problems and we have taken second position. Hopefully that will give us the break we need to try and catch Verstappen. But now Hamilton down the inside. We go wide, give him a bit of space. He has a moment on the exit. Ricardo now trying to pass Hamilton. Can we finally break away from this group of cars and try and chase down the leaders? Our tyres are in fairly similar condition uh, to those behind. We've got better tyres than Verstappen and we use them to catch up to the Dutchman and now we are in DRS range. Can we make a move on Verstappen? Yes we can to the outside. Can we outbreak him though here? Around the outside we go Verstappen later on the brakes though and we just can't quite get there. Max Verstappen holds on and we drop into P2 once again. We still have a bit of time left though. Lap 67 of 71. We have time on our side. We can pick our moment to make an overtake but there is not a lot of time. That is the key. So we need to make sure we get this done in an efficient way and make sure we don't let everyone else catch up to us. So let's see what we can do. Round the outside we go and this time we're going to sweep through and get the job done. And now we move ourselves up into the lead of the race. Now can we pull away? Can we uh, work with Verstappen? Make sure the cars behind Ricardo, Hamilton uh, and so on and do not catch up. Carlos Sainz now I think it's out of the fight uh, with those mechanical issues. He is dropping away uh, from the... Uh, front group but uh, as we continue on uh, Verstappen not willing to play the game and he goes back up into the lead we're diving back up the inside into turn three very tight line on the apex but we managed to get a decent exit with a bit of wheel spin uh, and, but it's better than Verstappen's exit and that helps us maintain the position as now Hamilton is going down the inside into turn one we're going to try and hold this one around the outside we try and pinch him a little bit and that works for us he has another moment on the exit and now Ricardo again is going to be the one to benefit from Hamilton's slight mistake there on the exit of turn one Ricardo is moving himself back up into second and now into first as he goes down the inside of turn one uh, on the penultimate lap of the There's race we'll let him go remaining. to try and make things work for us we get the DRS we get the slipstream and we have to watch out for Hamilton behind as well Verstappen also hanging around we go to the outside of Ricardo and we'll see if we can get stunned round the outside yes we can and we move ourselves back up and into the lead on the penultimate lap of the race we just need to defend one more time and we can win this race this is incredible stuff for our team. We are not in a car fast enough to do this. Ricardo barges away through. Contact is made there this time. We're going to try and duck back into the slipstream. But Hamilton is pulling alongside. We give him a bump. He bumps us back. We've got now front wing damage to deal with. We're late on the brakes. Trying to make the move around the outside. Understeer through the right hand. And with the front wing damage, we just about keep the car alongside Ricardo. We get a good exit. And we maintain the lead for the final time. They won't be able to get past through the corners. Even with the slight amount of damage we have. So now we come around the final corner. We are going to win the Austrian Thank Grand Prix. You. I cannot believe it. After damage on lap one and on the final lap, a weird strategy. I didn't expect this to be our day. And with that, we wrap up yet another incredible Grand Prix weekend. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, you know what they say, to finish first, first you have to finish. And that fact was clear today, with lots of retirements having a big effect on the outcome of the race. As a driver, you tend to keep reliability concerns to the back of your mind and just focus on what's in front of you. But for the teams, races like this can be very stressful. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. Well, I certainly did not see that coming, but uh, things fell into place towards the end and we managed to make another Australian 1-2 for the season. But this time, we are the ones on top. Max Verstappen rounds off the podium. Daniel Ricciardo can be happy with the points he's earned today as it pushes his lead out even further. So, and... And I press the wrong button there so we don't get to hear Crofty's little summary. But 
we move ourselves up into third uh, in the championship standings uh, with that result third in the team standings as well uh, so we're looking pretty decent it's got to be said but uh, anyway uh, now to the highlights reel um, I don't, I don't, I've lost my words I think in the end uh, pitting on that first lap and putting on the soft tyres we gained a lot of time uh, in that I think overall uh, I, I don't think it was sort of I didn't even sort of realise the position we were in uh, until we got to you know 30 laps into the race and we're still on our first stint on soft tyres uh, in a very very good position good position you can see the crash going on at the top of the screen there now but uh, yeah I I should have started on the soft tyres uh, put it simply um, we would have won by a lap if we did that um, but yeah so clearly starting on uh, soft tyres was the way to go uh, with the difficulty heating up the tyres in the early phases of the race uh, we were able to uh, make uh, a big impression in the early laps uh, despite dropping to the back of the field with that pit stop uh, those soft tyres uh, were very very beneficial um, for us uh, in the long run I think so yeah and they didn't drop off too much towards the end of the stint that was the other surprising thing uh, with you know three stop strategies on the cards I expected that tire wear to be quite high but it really wasn't uh, and all of our tires uh, lasted quite well but uh, now we get to another one of the issues uh, in the uh, recording and uh, editing of this uh, because the uh, recording cut out just there and uh, we now go straight to uh, the activity timeline so on the timeline uh, we're going to do the funded team event away uh, we're going to do the second driver performance review uh, hopefully uh, continue to work on uh, Yuki Sonoda's focus uh, and all of the uh, other uh, related uh, stats uh, we're always going to try and help out our second driver uh, with these uh, activities uh, because uh, we, we re really need him to be doing a little bit better he's definitely improved but a little bit more will always be welcome second driver PR filming uh, more acclaim uh, is always welcome and then we will do the driver promotion filming uh, to fill in the final day because that's the only thing left uh, that we can do in that time slot but uh, as for facilities we're probably not going to do too much here because uh, well I'm, I'm trying to save money at the moment we need to make sure we can afford Yuki Sonoda uh, for the second half of the season so that is what uh, we are going to do uh, basically nothing um, as for R&D no resource points so we can't do anything there so we just now head through the timeline and we get a department event now you'll find out how out of sync the audio is in just a moment new parts have completed without issue they'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend the personnel departments need some assistance to reach a resolution here and uh, yeah there you go there's uh, an idea of how uh, far behind uh, the sound is compared to the video it was like that throughout the whole thing I fixed most of it but yeah I, just to save a bit of time no, I didn't bother fixing it for uh, the last uh, section of the video because it's not particularly important um, but anyway uh, this department event uh, we have a bunch of outdated equipment uh, so sort of sitting around uh, in the, our various facilities uh, so we can uh, sort of uh, do a bit of a clean up and upgrade all of our uh, outdated equipment it will cost us uh, a bit of money but it will give us 750 resource points and I think that is well worth it uh, 50k not a lot of money 750 resource points that's a big number so yeah let's uh, go for that and uh, save the, those or, or gain those resource the points wants me to pass on their thanks for helping out <laughs> and uh, now we can continue through the rest with those resource points uh, we can afford to do some upgrades uh, so uh, aero probably a decent area to work on actually uh, because uh, our aero is not really up to scratch or need none of our uh, uh, nothing on our car is particularly good it's just sort of decent all around uh, which I guess is why it works well in Austria because it's a bit of a mix of everything it's got some sharp corners some you know, sort of higher speed corners. You're not currently in a rivalry. Sooner or later, you'll probably be asked by the media who you consider to be your rival. 
Oh yeah, we beat Lance Stroll in the rivalry too. That's something I didn't get to show in this one. You'll lose a claim if you fail to do so. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll start a new uh, rivalry soon. But yeah, like I was saying, our car is sort of decent all around, uh, okay, which I think is well, why it works so well uh, in Austria. We'll have them uh, with with the a variety of corners Prix. there. Can you please stop talking, Ollie? You sound like a depressed potato. Anyway. Um, every time Ollie talks, I get distracted. I miss Carl. Carl was better than Ollie. Anyway. I have no idea what I was just saying. And... Uh, this video is already uh, over half an hour long, so uh, without much else uh, left to do in this one, I think I will uh, just leave it here. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, I will see you in the future. Hopefully not too long until the next video. Uh, the next one will be Gran Turismo, so that should be fairly quickly, provided there are no issues. Surely it can't be worse than this one. This one was just painful to, to make, but... Yeah, it happens from time to time. Sometimes things just don't go well. But anyway, like I was saying, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. Feel free to give me some feedback in the comments, and I will see you next time. See you later.